Well, a pirate ship has docked in Temple and it's creating quite a spectacle. It's not pirates causing chaos, though, just two travelers hoping to spread a positive message. A suicide awareness bus that is a gutted school bus decorated to look like a pirate ship is visiting Temple and Six News reporter Jordan Sartor Francis got to meet its owners and to speak to people who have a direct connection to the bus's message. Jordan, what's it like to have this bus parked in Temple? Chris and Lindsay, the bus is an attention grabber and the people I spoke to say it's also a welcome sight. I spoke to Charmay Wheelock, who lost her best friend Sasha Armstrong to suicide. Like many others where the bus has visited, Charmay signed Sasha's name on the outside of the bus. Another woman brought her loved one's ashes to the bus, asking Corey and Kelly, who drive it, to spread the ashes in meaningful locations after they hit the road. The bus is also driven by Corey Riches and his wife Kelly, and they are hoping their presence in Temple brings peace and solace to the communities they visit. Me and my wife have been going for three years, six months, seven days a week, L.A. to New York. And for us to be able to provide this service, to be able to give our country hugs, to be able to talk to people about their depression, letting them know that they're not alone, means the world to me and my wife. The bus received its 42nd set of ashes today. Families give them to the bus, asking Corey and Kelly to spread them in significant places as they travel. Now, if you want to visit the bus, it will be parked at the Harley Davidson dealership in Temple tomorrow from noon to three. Guys. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Yeah, and it doesn't look like they're slowing down at all. All right, thank you so much, George.